Hey guys, what is going on? I am XBGamer94 and welcome back to another computer craft tutorial. Last time we messed with scrolling text and other various other aspects of computer craft. Today what I think we're going for is a fa is like well the four monitor standard setup with an advanced computer which we worked with last time. But today we're going to be working with uh, computer craft color coding and computer craft background coding. Now hold on to your horses, people. This this gets very difficult to understand, so I will try to I'll try to explain it as slowly as I can, and in a way that you guys can understand it. That is the most important part at this point in time. <coughs> now, with computer craft. You have various different things, like there's going to be a link in the, in the description to the Colors API which you use to do the color coding inside a computer graph. So without further ado, let's create a program called Startup. Now in any coding program there are functions. These allow you to do, there are, these allow you to do various things with computer graph and allow you to manipulate or set a construction value for a certain thing. Now, in this case, for backgrounds, we're just going to do the simple one, which is centering text with where it goes. You enter the text first, the Y value of where you want to be, and the color. Where these two dashes mean comments. Comments allow you to create different things, like, or allow you to, like, make sure certain parts of your program aren't running. MX is going to be our mathematical equation where we'll just get the monitor size. So we'll just be mon.get size, which allows you to get the size of your monitor very quickly inside of computer graph. X will equal math.floor. Where we'll do a math equation of mx, which is the size of your monitor over 2. Take away math.floor again. A mathematical equation of the length of the string, which is identified by string length, string length, text, over 2. So basically what that is really doing is you're taking the size of the monitor over 2 away from the length of the t of your text string which you identified in your center text function over to you're taking the two of those away to get a value you then set your cur set your cursor position which would be which is done by monitor dot set cursor pause x bracket y on dot set text color where you set then the color of your text and then it writes it to the screen. It writes the value of, of center te uh, the function text out of center text to the screen and then you end it. Simple. I'll explain the function one more time. So basically the first line is really saying that you're calling center text where you write the text first, the y value that or no, the text first, then the y value, then the color value, which is decimal and can be found in the link in the description with the colors API for computer craft. You are you are calling out the monitor clear so it doesn't run. MX is getting your monitor size. X is the madam to so to get the position of X, which would be mon dot set cursor position bracket x comma y the first part of that is an equation where it will take the size of your monitor over two away from the length of your text over two then it will save that as the boolean value or the integer or byte x and then write that into your cursor position where you've specified your y value and then it, it becomes your x value <coughs> Then your monitor will attempt to set a text color which is just going to be called color as up above in your function center text, text comma y comma color, and then it will write text to the screen. And then the rest is pretty simple. 
where you wrap the peripheral again to your back where your monitor is where you then set the scale size but remember you're working with half sizes not full size you can use full size if you want I'm not going to stop you but in my case I'm working with half sizes of of 1.5 then you set any color in the background as you wish set back by using mon.set background and color to be as it shows in the computer's API there is a table for the colors your really focus is the first two and the last one in this case the color we will be setting for the background is color is colors dot black closing that we're doing a mon doc we're cancelling out another mon declare function here spelling is not my friend apparently when it comes to coding I always make a mistake when I spell so I will proofread everything before I continue Yep, yeah, everything's right. And then what we will do is we will call upon the function of center text. Whoops, I was typing. Or you will call it something like XP's XP craft it's where you can do this. And then XP craft XP's space shuttle. Where then you will put a comma after that set the y value of one which will be line one and then the color of your text in my case what I'll just be using is the standard white which is a decimal value of one but you can choose a good number of range of values or what I'll actually do is I'll not choose one I'll choose one six three eight four which is the computer craft value for the color red and that is that see if it exited run the program and well yeah that's pretty much it until next time guys I am XMaker and I4 I really hope you guys are you felt informed in doing this and yeah I'll see you guys in the next one peace